Hey everyone, Shane here with ROA Off-Road. I am in one of my most favorite places in the world. It's actually called Nature, but actually this location where I'm at right now is pretty secluded. It takes a couple hours to get here. It's all off-road and most people can't come here with a standard trailer and a standard truck or, I mean, you could get out here with a standard truck, but it would be a hard, hard drive. But today I want to officially reveal and do a tour for you on a new product. We've been teasing you for, it's been a few months. It's almost been since the beginning of this year we've been teasing you. But here at ROA Off-Road, we want to use, we want to test, we want to abuse before we officially reveal, right? We've been doing this for years and more and more we always want to be users and really understand the product before we go into a big launch or reveal of the product. We have teased, it is on our website right now, but we haven't officially done a tour of it. And today I'm going to. And this camper, this trailer, I'm gonna say it's probably one of the coolest looking campers you can buy in America right now. I'm not gonna say it's the best because here at ROA Off-Road, we have, we literally carry the lineup of the best trailers in the world. Everything from you know, Patriot, Kimberly, Explores, off-grid trailers, the OGTs, and you know, and beyond, right? We have some incredible trailers that we offer to the public, to potential roamers. So you can't necessarily say one is the best because if you're a if you're in love with your Wrangler, you're not gonna be able to tow some of those trailers. You're gonna have to look at the Patriots because those, you know, you can tow them with almost any vehicle and those things go anywhere. But if you're looking at camping in 40 below zero, then you gotta look at the Explore. You know, if you wanna just be a part of a company, a culture, a team, you know, mission-driven, value-based, the OGTs, the guys off-grid campers out of Canada, they are amazing. I'm super excited about that product. You know, every, every product, every camper, every trailer that we sell, it's, it's unique to the user. But this camper, I'm really excited to share with you today because it is really kind of, I, I wanna call it maybe the father or the grandfather, or I should just call it the inspiration to so many great campers across the entire world. This company has been around for over 30 years now. They started in the military sector building you know, campers and trailers for the military. And then they moved into the civilian sector and started building off-road trailers for us. But they really have not made it into America until recently. It's a South African company. And you probably already know it. If, you're, if you've looked into the industry and you know it, you already know what I'm gonna tell you. But what I'm so excited about today is we have a one of a kind. This is the Conqueror UEV. 14. We are the only ones in America that have this product. We have the very first prototype ever at our facility, and now we have units landing coming in uh, available if you're interested you know reach out to us but today i'm going to go through and this is not going to be one of these crazy in-depth tours like we do all the time this one is going to be a mini tour and it will get you familiar with this product and if you're seriously interested reach out to us go to the website roaoffroad.com and it is listed there with a lot of specs but i'm going to go into some of the the brief overview of it and get you inside because we haven't showed anybody inside yet. It's only been outside and I want to get you inside the trailer and talk about some of the features. So here we go. Let's go. Here we are. The Conquer Urban Escape Vehicle. This is the UEV 14. They do have a model that looks similar to this in South Africa but this is made and designed for the American market. And like I said, here at ROA Off-Road, we are the only ones that actually have this product line right now. And that's gonna be the case for a while. We have the very first prototype, we've been going through it. We've actually helped in the design. 
This has been really cool that we've been able to sync up with Conquer in a way that we actually, they, they listen to our input. You know, we've been taking them off-roading, we've been towing them, and we've been giving them feedback. <sighs> Obviously, they've been doing this for 30 years, so they have a really, really good understanding of these campers and off-road and, the, you know, making them pretty rugged and robust. But there's differences. There's differences from the U.S. to the Australian market. But I want to talk a little bit about some of the specs on this trailer before we go and walk around it. And like I said, this is a mini tour. This is not going to be one of these hour long tours. So we're just gonna kind of go through this really quickly and show it off. Let's start with the total length of the trailer. Now this is from tip to tip. It's 20 feet and three inches or 243 inches. The width, overall width is seven foot one inch. So it is not super big. The box itself is a lot shorter, but you have the tongue and the tire on the back end. The height, it's actually variable. And the reason is because of the suspension that this is on. It is designed by Airbag Man, which is probably the biggest player in the world of off-road camper suspension. Most of the Australian companies that are running any type of airbag independent suspension are using Airbag Man. We have Firestone bags but all the system is airbag man. And so at the airbags deflated at the lowest position, your height to the very tippy top of the roof is seven foot nine inches, which is fabulous. You can fit it in most garages here in America. Once it goes up, it has about four inches side to side, up and down travel, and it goes over eight feet when it, in its max height. But just under eight feet, a few inches under eight feet, so it can get you in the garage, which is really nice. The weight of this trailer is 4,300 pounds dry. That's empty with nothing in it. You have a 5,511 pounds GVWR, so that's once you fully load it. So you have, well, close to 1,200, just over 1,200 pounds worth of cargo capacity, which is really phenomenal. Yeah, you probably will never use that. You do have 52 gallons of fresh water. So lots of water that's gonna extend your stay anywhere you go. The tongue, the, the ball tongue weight is 440 pounds. So pretty manageable. These trailers tow better than almost any trailer I've ever towed. Like for the size and the class of them, we've towed all the Conqueror lineups, the, the 440, 490, or the UED 14 and they all tow better than anything I've ever towed. Like, they tow phenomenally. I've towed this UEV 14 with a 2500 power wagon going 80, 85, and it's just phew, like a dream. But we've even towed the other units with Chevy Colorados, Toyota Tacomas, Jeep Gladiators, and they tow so, so good. Well balanced, everything is just put in the right place, and they just, I cannot emphasize how well they tow enough. But let's kind of walk around and talk a little bit about what we got here. We have the slide out kitchen right here, engraved conquer. Very, very beautiful looking kitchen. I love this kitchen. I love the, the stainless steel work that they've done with the little design. It's like reminds me of some of those really high end elevator stainless steel. Right here, we have a refrigerator. This is one of the best refrigerators in the market, I believe. It's also from South Africa. Woohoo, right? 80 liters, just over 80 liters. It's a dual zone, so you can work it any way you want, cold or fridge or freezer. You can change the temperatures. Over here, we have the two stove cooktop right here, two burner cooktop, and this cooks really well. I was cooking lots of stuff on this yesterday. All of these very heavy duty locking latches, everything's riveted. It's really, really nice. It feels very high end quality. But into here, you can see how this is kind of like a Conquer signature. I've seen a lot of manufacturers copying this. Remember, Conquer has been in business for 30 years. They've been in business longer than almost anybody in the game right now that you know of. And I, and I believe a lot of manufacturers have been inspired with these little details where these cups fit in. These are, these are not glass, they look like they are. But you know, it's just kind of like come set up where you are just ready to go camping. And it's really nice. You don't have to figure out where does my stuff fit, my cups and my spoons and forks. Everything is just kind of set up, ready to go and adventure. And the nice thing is when you're rocking off-road, all of these things are not 
you know, bashing around because it just fits in really nicely. I love these sinks. I was a little bit uh, hesitant about these sinks at first because it's just kind of a, a gravity. You just drain. So this thing kind of comes up and squeezes right out of here. And it actually folds. It's super small and it goes inside the drawer when you're traveling. And it has this little drain hole. So you could put like a bucket underneath it. But this actually fits in really nicely here. Comes in, pops down. You have hot and cold water here. I've stuck my little sponge right here. Got my soap. And you have hot and cold to be able to wash your hands, do your dishes, whatever you want. The nice thing is if you don't want to put a bucket here and drain it out here, you can just pull this out and just throw it, you know, into the, the grass or something and get it away from you. I really like this. Plus, you're conserving a lot of water opposed to just always draining out. You can kind of fill this tub up and just, you know, conservation of water is half of the game of camping, right? Always trying to figure out, making sure you're conserving things. So let me show you. I'm going to just close this up and put the whole kitchen away so you can see how nice and easy that is. And one of the things I do want to mention is it's all plumbed. Besides the propane, there's a propane line that you hook up and it's plumbed into the main propane tanks. But the actual water lines and everything else and electrical for the fridge, the water lines for this, it's all plumbed. It's always connected in. Some off-road campers, you have to, everything's like quick disconnect. So you're kind of like connecting things and it's, it's just a little, it's easy usually, but this is definitely more convenient. And then you just push that in really heavy duty latches. Everything on this just feels so, so solid. You do also have a light out here for cooking and you can see all these latches are really nice and it seals very good too. We've actually had a, we were off-roading and Everything was sealed very, very nicely. No dust inside. It does also have a positive air pressure on the other side. I'll show you. Come on over here. Okay, up here, as you can see, it does come standard with a uh, protection device for intruders or firewood, whatever you want to use that for. But we got our axe. Up here, we have the propane compartment. Nothing to see in there, but just two bottles of propane. Chassis on this thing is a hot-dipped, galvanized, welded and bolted wherever there's any potential points of less rigidity or strength they've added extra bolted plates and welds so the trailer all the way through is just very very built well of course you have the d35 we also do mckitches personally i like mckitches but these are also great they all work the same articulating in every direction 360 degrees which is what you want in an off-road trailer you don't want you don't want those stressors on the truck or the trailer you know where you're putting too much pressure and weight and not allowing the trailer to move freely when you're off-roading beautiful trailer i love this jockey wheel so this is the jockey wheel it is on a wheel and you can move it around the most popular one we see in the industry is the arc you know 750 or 500 I am not a huge fan of that, that the, those jockey wheels. It's standard on so many trailers and they're good. This thing is, you know, it's like good, better, best. <laughs> this is best. Those are good, right? They're not terrible, but this thing is amazing, but it's all designed by Conqueror. This is a unique design by them. And this thing comes completely off, slides into here, and you have zero zero things under here that are going to be hitting or getting knocked off the other thing is you do have the anderson pin and that's going to be for charging if you have a dc to dc for your truck you also have two other ports for solar and you can run you can run it either way however you want but this comes standard with some of these uh solar panels that you can set out on the ground which i like because they're way way more efficient as you can see we have these ones set up over here and we got the sun coming right now. These two panels, they're 100 amp hours each. And we're bringing in almost, last time I checked, it was like 8.5 amps, which is really good for 200 watts. And the reason is because it's just directional. You can put it out. And it's really nice is because I'm moving these. Last night, as the sun was setting, I had them going this way. And I went right before going to bed, I 
turned them around is because I knew the sun was going to come up and I wanted to get that morning sun and get my batteries all fully charged. And so that, that's the solar system. Now we can, here at ROA Off-Road, we can install some stationary units on the roof, which would be really, really nice. Um, probably put two to 300 watts up there. But this is what it comes standard with and it works very, very well. Coming around here, you do have a nice little hand handle here. And the idea of that is if you're in your garage on a nice smooth surface, this jockey wheel, you can roll this thing around. It's not very heavy, especially if you're on a nice smooth flat surface in your garage, you can kind of move this manhandle this. And now let's come on over here, talk about the jacks. It has four point stabilizing jacks all the way around. So it's very nice and stable when those are put down for camping. But I wanna show you this side really quick. This is your positive air pressure system. And what that is, is if you do hit the off-roads and it's a really fine dirt, there's potential for it to get in, but this is just something to guarantee it will never get in if you're going somewhere really sandy and just where there's that fine dirt. These are amazing systems for the off-road. Here you have your water heater, um, that's an on-demand. Here we have a storage compartment. It has a light on the inside, so when you open it up, it automatically turns on. Now the kitchen does come into this area, and but you do have a little bit of storage in here that you can utilize. And then this is the door for your cassette toilet. I'm a huge fan of cassette toilets. They're super convenient, especially for off-road and off-grid because you can fill this thing up, you can throw it in the bed of your truck, you can drive down to like a Volt toilet, pit toilet, and just dump it. So it just extends your ability to stay off-grid. You know, if you're at a trailer park, yeah, it might be nice to hook up directly into a sewer, but this is this trailer and camper is made for off-road, off-grid. The cassette is ideal, in my opinion, and I think most people that are actually users will actually agree with me. Over here, we actually have the uh, Load Range E tires, and these are the 285-75 16-inch rims. They have an alloy rim. They also stem and cap is also metal, aluminum. So you're not dealing with the cheaper rubber ones. And it really, like I said, a load range E-tire, mud terrain, very heavy duty tire, more than enough. This tire rating is more than the entire overall weight of the trailer is, which is very important. You might say obviously, but no, not obviously. We've had trailer manufacturers in the past that we've dealt with where they put the load range C tires, which is absurd. And the trailers like the combined weight rating of the two tires is like five or 6,000 pounds and the trailers GVWR fully loaded weight is like 5,800 pounds or, or like 65, they say 65. So like they're telling you that you can put more weight in the trailer than the tires can actually hold. And that's a perfect recipe for blowouts, busted um, axle, it just becomes a nightmare. The, the, the uh, rims, the axles, the tires, are overkill to the trailer. And that's very important. Here you have the water fill tanks right here. I wanna talk a little bit about the construction of this trailer. First off, it's all aluminum. You have an aluminum composite panel, uh, you have insulation, and in between you have studs and they're all welded aluminum, rectangular hollow studs, and it's all aluminum throughout the whole entire trailer. Uh, here you have a polycarbonate dual pane window. These are super strong. We've thrown things at them. It's a Eurovision, very popular company. It has the night and day shades on the inside, I'll show you. Lastly, before we go to the back, paint. It's a 3H hardness paint. And I'm not like a paint person, so you know, make some comments below and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but my understanding about paint, the most standard American vehicles do a 2H paint. Um, and that's just like this, the hardness, the, the durability of the paint, right? If you're gonna scratch it, get trees. So most standard cars are gonna be using a 2H. Japanese vehicles usually use a two to a three H. If you move into higher end German cars, they're usually using a three all the way up to a five H. Now keep in mind, most standard trailers in America don't even paint their trailers. They use a fiberglass infused plastic material and they just laminate it and then they put those funky stickers everywhere right those swirls and it's just a sticker it's a decal it peels off right and there's no paint and it gets chalky it's really really cheap this is very high quality automotive grade paint that you're going to see in like 
fancy German cars. So really, really cool. They're proud of their, their paint. But let's walk around over here. Okay, here we are at the uh, rear end. This is a hybrid, so it does pop out, which is really cool is because, you know, that interior space feels much larger than, you know, a standard trailer if it didn't have this slide out. You also have the roof pop top, which gives you, it's seven, it's six foot 11 inches inside from floor to ceiling. So you basketball players, yes, you can fit in here. But talking about the rear end, we have the tire, it's a standard spare. You also have a grill, you have a shovel, um, for recovery and additional storage up here. This is lockable. Some people ask, can you lock this, you know, or can you open it from the outside? You can lock it so it can't be opened from the outside. Over here, we have, I've been hanging my trash can right here, which is nice. But over here, you have two jerry can holders. Those are standard jerry can holders, so you can put fuel, water. Right now, I am running my Starlink <laughs> right here, and because we have two trailers out here, two campers out here, and I wanted to get it in a good area for us both. Uh, your license plate holder. This is a really nice tray slash table pet prep area if you're out cooking. Of course, this can be like a food utility area. We're only out for the weekend, so I don't have a ton of food and I haven't organized this. You gotta bring your plants, right? But the nice thing is you can actually access this from the inside or outside. There's these doors and they're shut on the inside. And so you just kind of close this up, put things away, put my burn binoculars away and close this. And it seals really nice and tight and latches. Everything is lockable and high quality latches. Now down here, we also have another little storage box container, which is nice. And it also is sealed and it's spick and span in there. And we've been driving in dirt, like I said. Now let's head into the door area. Let's head on inside. I do wanna show off this step right here. This is on an electric step and it does tuck up nice and tight up against the body. And it also does have a manual release in case you have a power issue. This screen door is also really cool. This is, it's all aluminum metal with the screen. So your dogs, whatever you can, Put them in there and they're not going to be able to bust through the screen or, or sometimes your kids just run into it and bust it but let's head on inside and give you a tour come on in welcome inside the uev 14. first impressions are it is very elegant very beautiful i love the whites the grays it's it's sleek it's modern the upholstery is not white so it's not going to get dirty the things that could potentially get a little dirty are kind of not high touch areas this is a fake laminate looks like a marble look now these are things that we could also um, upgrade and change that's one of the things that i don't absolutely love about it but i actually think it looks nice but you know it's not the most durable thing this is on a pedestal mounting mounting system so you just press this button and this slides down for bed mode this is measuring around a queen size bed so easily two people here you have a bunk bed up front where you can put another adult i actually slept there last night because i just wanted to leave i was working late and i just wanted to leave the table up and i just slept it there lots of lighting this is very very bright it's it make the i think the color is make makes it feel very large in here it's very very comfortable this table area i mean you could put three adults easily maybe four a little squishy but it's a very very nice hangout area do remember like camping the reason why you get a camper is so you can be out in nature right but it's also a tool to get you out in nature more frequently because of the comforts that it offers you nice bed nice bathroom right shelter if it is raining this gives you everything you need. Also, I love the inside fridge, a 76 liter inside fridge, an 80 liter outside fridge. You have more fridge and freezer than you will need for a good long trip. And really, really good. I mean, I've dealt with, I've camped with just the outside fridges 
and I go weak, we make it work. This definitely gives you a lot of space. Lots of storage space throughout. You got storage up here. Um, you got storage around there, around there. Um, underneath this, you can utilize some of the storage. Underneath the beds, there's some cupboards that open up. All the components in this unit are very high-end, very premium, very quality. The air conditioning unit, it's an HB 9000. It's a furnace and heater, and it's all ducted right so many of these campers nowadays they're just putting a single port no roof mounted ac this is really nice is because once again i told you towability is so important so everything is down on the floor they put the battery bank over here the ac unit over here underneath the the seats you could easily upgrade the battery bank to an add an additional battery it comes right now with three 100 amp hour they are an agm battery um, if you wanted to upgrade to lithium very easily and probably even put four in there all the electric compo electrical components renergy we got a 3000 watt inverter very very robust system it's a charger inverter system and you're going to just have lots and lots of power you're not going to have any issues with power on this product on this unit you have some nice little cubbies over here for stuff while you're sleeping at night you have reading lights here and here you have ports to plug in cell phones and usbs you have actual outlets that work off the inverters there's a switch over here that turns off the lighting so when you're in bed you don't have to get up and turn off the switch up front i've mentioned the night and day shades these shades come down and make it very dark or you can do the screens and these windows they have a few different settings so when you hear the click you stop it and there's one setting you got another one and then you got your high one and this is going to create incredible airflow you know if you're camping out you can put the screen up and just have a nice constant breeze wherever you're at last night when i went to bed it was 45 degrees it is july it was 100 degrees in the valley and we drove we're about 10,000 feet in the mountains right now and it was 45 degrees when i went to bed last night so i did not have the windows open if anything it was too cold but it's really nice to be able to have a little house on wheels that I can, I don't need to go buy a cabin. I got a cabin on wheels and I can come up into the mountains and enjoy the beautiful weather in the middle of the summer. I can go down to the beach in a camper, you know, so it's like, it's so funny. My wife and I, we used to talk about someday maybe owning a cabin or a beach house, how cool that would be. But it's funny with a camper, you have all of that you know, without having to be stuck to one place. If you don't like the, if you want to go to the California beaches or you don't like the California beaches, you can go to the Florida beaches. You can, you know, it's just really cool. The flexibility that a camper gives you is unlike anything else out there. But let's head over to this kind of storage area and show you the bunk bed and the bathroom. Once again, these locking latches, when you're in the off-road, you want something that's gonna lock. And these are all wood cabinets with fully extension tracks and you're not dealing with veneers that can delaminate or anything so really nice quality locking latches all throughout and lots of little storage and cubby spots right here with your countertop up here lots of counter space throughout this camper inside uh, you got a nice little tv that velcros and holds it nice and sturdy in transit and this tv kind of swivels in all every direction you can bring it over to show it towards the main area you can put it that way towards the bunk bed if the kids want to watch from the bunk bed. You know, always many ways to use it and enjoy it. So and there you go, and nice and sturdy while you're traveling. Man, could you give me some privacy here? Oh, this cameraman is always filming me in the bathroom. Gross. No, actually, it's very important. The bathroom is hugely important. I cannot tell you how many guys that want a camper so badly but what is that saying called? The one that holds the purse strings is the smarter one of the two, which is the wife. And the most important thing for the missus is a nice bathroom. And this is a very nice bathroom. It's not huge, but you're in a very small camper that's very light, that's very versatile and can go anywhere, but you have the things that are most important. You have your toilet, you have your shower. This toilet does kind of rotate to kind of get out of the way, or if you want to be in a different position, whatever is more comfortable, which is really cool. You don't see that on too many trailers out in the market, but you do have this nice shower and it does set up right here in this Velcro area so you can get nice. And then when you're in transit or whatever, you, I usually just throw it on the floor. It can go hang out right there. You got a soap tray. 
this thing moves up and down. Some light lighting in here too. This is not the biggest bathroom in the in the world, but if you are showering and you drop the bar of soap, you're kind of in this area right here. You can bend down. That's an important thing. Can you bend down in the shower, right? This toilet is kind of awkward here, but it works, right? And this is like the difference is in every trailer, it's it's use case, right? I wouldn't be living in this trailer full time. This is the ultimate adventure vehicle, you know? I got an argument with, not an argument, just a good conversation with Nate, who is full-timing at a dweller, 15. And I told him, dude, the UEV 14 is way, way cooler. And he's like, it is really cool, Shane, but like for full-time living, because he's full-timing in the dweller 15, right? He says, you know, the 15 has way more storage. And I'm like, yeah, but you got inside fridge, outside fridge. And he's like, you know what? The UV 14 is probably the ultimate expedition vehicle. If you're going out for cross country tri trips, you know, you're a couple weeks in it, but you do have, you do like, if you really want it, I've seen people living in other things that are much worse than this. This is, this would be luxury living compared to some, but not ideal. So you do have a fan right here overhead and it's pretty nice not the cheapest one but it's not the most expensive one a fantastic vent fan is better but this is the lighting in here is really cool and and the the door handle is very heavy duty as you can see and it locks so when you're inside you can lock it up and very nice it's a very comfortable bathroom but let's look over at this bunk bed area here we are and this is the front bed area and like I said, I actually slept on this last night very comfortably. And it's, it is pretty wide. It, for me, it was very comfortable as you can kind of get some depth there, <laughs> right? If you had two small children, they would probably sleep fine in here. Probably, you know, like probably head one head over here, the other head over there and feet to feet, you know, you could squeeze two smaller children in here. Two adults would be a tight squeeze, but it's definitely comfortable for an extra adult. So this, this trailer really is set for three people. Definitely two adults and two very small children would work also. If you're grandparents and you want to bring your grandchild or if you're a family of three, this is an awesome camper. It's a beautiful day in the woods. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this mini tour. Mini in my book is not super mini usually, but if you want more detail, more information, you can contact us, you can text us at 801-860-0035. You can go to our website, it's roaoffroad.com. Text, call, like I said, if you want to see a full tour stay tuned for that subscribe and the full tour will be rolling out here in the very close future but if you have any questions make some comments below we can answer your questions in the meantime before a full and in-depth tour comes hopefully you've learned something hopefully you've enjoyed enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day talk to you soon bye bye